the uh, bottom up gap jig um, in five grams. Super compact, nice looking jig. Have had no issues with it in um, like this dirty green pumpkin color. And then as a trailer, I like to use the ISSEI's Shizumi Mushi. Um, I put the fat end on one side so that it could help it like fall down this way, almost like a Ned. And then the tapering end on the other side. So let's get after it. And all I'm going to do is let it get to the bottom and then I'll just scrape it hoping to entice a bass with jigs <laughs> one thing it's taught me is uh, patience uh, which I've never had just picking it up slowly it is warming up, I can feel it. So, sun should be coming up. Just trying to entice. It's hard to feel bottom because of all this growth, but nonetheless, I can feel it. Got it. Oh. That was beautiful. Oh my God, that was gorgeous. Gorgeous bite. Look at this nice smallie. Wasn't going anywhere, hit it at the top lip. It's pinned. That was beautiful. Traditional jig bite. All right, caught this gorgeous beauty. Gorgeous. That's pretty cool, that was a nice one. That is a nice one. Oh my God, that felt like it was stuck. Oh, that is a football. Yes, look at that, it scratched the line. I will have to retie. Look at this beauty. Look at this, nice little chunker, smallmouth of course, man. Just hopping it over cover.
under the water or anything like that. Just keeping tension on it. Keeping tension, that's the important part. Keeping tension. small mouth. Let's get a picture and release it. Right. Had one but forgot to turn it on. So Morph. Oh. oh man. This one's more intense. These beautiful, healthy smallies. Look at this on the gap jig. It's got to be one willing to commit. Holy crap. I saw this one on its bed. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully I don't lose it. The good thing is, the jig's pretty much in there. Look at this. Cannot complain. Nice, beautiful, smally.